what's going on guys? Trev back again. I'm going to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the teaser trailer, the first trailer for Frank Darabont's Mob City. Yeah! So you might be thinking to yourselves, Trev, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell is Mob City? Well, friends, brothers and sisters, Mob City just happens to be the title that uh, they changed L.A. Noir to since they were not able to use it. Now, what's going on with it? Why am I so excited for it? Well, of course, if you guys remember from the first and second season of The Walking Dead, uh, an actor that had a small part in it, his name is John Bernthal, if you guys remember him, he played Shane, favorite character from The Walking Dead, and... Frank Darabont, the uh, creator of the Walking Dead television series. I say creator because Robert Kirkman created the comic book series, but Frank Darabont was the one who's like, we got to make this into a TV series, and got it all together and got the ball rolling. Well, him and Gail Ann Hurd. At least he gets most of the credit, because he was the showrunner for the first season and a half, and he really got it got it all started. Without him, without John Berthold, Gail Ann Hurd, uh, Robert Kirkman say, it would not have happened. But... With regards to the success of the series so far, those two gentlemen right there that we just mentioned, uh, Frank Darabont and John Bernthal, have a, in my opinion, a huge part in making the Walking Dead television series such a success. Because how many adaptations have we seen of comic books, you know, or anything, any any movie or TV series or whatever that's based on a comic book that has failed? You know, I mean, there there are so many. So uh, having those two in there really helped the show. And if somebody else would have done it, I don't know if The Walking Dead would be The Walking Dead, what it is now. That being said, wanted to do a review for this trailer. Link's in the description. You guys can go ahead and check it out if you want to pause the video. Go ahead and pause the video, watch the trailer, come back and hear my thoughts on it. So uh, I'm assuming everybody else has seen the trailer at this point. If you haven't, like I said, pause me, go over, watch it. Click the link in the description and then come back and, and play again. So uh, I'm blown away. I am absolutely blown away. This looks freaking awesome. Honestly, I, I'm going to say this and I don't mean to piss anybody off. This looks more exciting. Like this looks better <laughs> than The Walking Dead Season 4. Now I might get some flack for that. And you guys know I'm the biggest Walking Dead fan there is or one of them. You know, you guys are too. I know that. But. It could be because it's new. It could be because it's a new show. But I'm telling you, man, this series looks sick. It looks so sick. In the trailer, okay, so first of all, we should say December 4th, TNT. That's when it's going to start. I am stoked for that. Uh, I've done videos in the past talking about L.A. Noir, and I was really suspicious, and I was I was talking in the videos. Uh, you can They're still on my channel if you want to watch them. I'm talking about L.A. Noir and John Bernthal and Frank Darabont. And I was like, man, I don't know if this is going to happen. Is it canceled? What's the deal? Because we didn't have a trailer for this fall. And your trailers for this fall are going to be coming out in around your, your June, July, Comic-Con, you know, uh, this type of time frame, late spring, early summer. We didn't see anything. So we're like, okay, is it going to happen this year? And I had forgotten about it. I had given up on it. I'm like, it's not going to happen. I'm almost guaranteeing it's not going to happen. So... All of a sudden today, we get the, you know, three or four people, thank you guys, sent me this in a private message. They're like, Trev, have you seen this? It was just, just hit today. I'm like, what is this? You know, I get a lot of junk in my, <laughs> what is this crap, right? <laughs> Click on it, and it, all of a sudden my, my brain just exploded. I was like, oh my God, they're doing it. It's happening. You've got Simon Pegg in there. If you guys remember him from uh, Shaun of the Dead, he played Shaun in Shaun of the Dead. Uh, many other movies too. Uh, there was another one. Uh, this is the uh, not. This is the end. The World's End. That's what it was called. Uh, and then you've got, of course, John Bernthal, one of my favorite actors uh, overall of any movie or show or anything, uh, because of his portrayal of Shane in The Walking Dead. And you got Frank Darabont, Shawshank Redemption, The Walking Dead. Guy's a freaking man. He puts together amazing stuff. So that being said. As soon as I saw it, and, and, and you see uh, the, like the, the visual style of it, 
the, the dark, how dark it is, and you see the characters kind of fade in. John Brenthal is talking, he's narrating, fades in, smoking a cigarette. You see a scene later where he's, he's, he's capping a guy, or it seems like he's going to cap a guy. Uh, Simon Pegg's in there. You've got uh, really cool um, designs and, and, you know, the suits from uh, 1947 Los Angeles, uh, Mob, Mob City. Uh, the city is basically run by the mob. John Berthold plays your, you know, your cop who is teetering in and between. You know, is he a good guy? Is he, you know, like he is a cop, but but what extent is he willing to go to to maintain order? And you know, we've seen him capping a guy, or it looks like he's going to be. So he seems like he's going to be one of those cops that's kind of on the edge of losing it and is starting to just just kill dudes if he has to. And it, oh man, it looks so good. Looks dark. Looks. Uh, Oh man, the, the part where they, they show the blood splatters when they're just, they've got the Tommy guns and, or whatever, I think they're Tommy guns, and they're just lighting up that guy with the, uh, the, the, the bag over his head. And the blood splatters just, just, just coming, oh man, it looks so good. Oh man, The Walking Dead, they're going to give you a run for your money for a show of the year. I'm telling you, man, this is, this looks great. I mean, it's just a trailer, it's just a quick, almost two minute trailer. But I'm telling you, you can tell. You just know, you know. The, the names that are in there, like I just mentioned, you know from the names, you're getting quality. But when you see a trailer like that, you're like, man, does this look good. Also, the fact that uh, John Bernthal is going to get to to be the, your lead character in the series, as far as we know, he's going to be your A-lister, your, your, your lead, which is awesome. Because in The Walking Dead, I think a lot of us wished that from season two especially, some of the best episodes in season two were like Shane's episodes, like um, uh, Save the Last One, and um, you know, I mean, eight, 18 Miles Out, and so many pretty much dead already. Uh, the final episodes of the season, uh, Better Angels, you know, all these different episodes in The Walking Dead season two were like Shane's episodes, and then that all ended. And then of course, it's, it's Rick's turn now, uh, Andrew Lincoln to, you know, he, well, he was always supposed to be the lead, but you know, Shane really, John Berthold as Shane really got some good time there, and uh, he sold the performance, and I think he was a standout for The Walking Dead, and that's something to say with all the great actors and everything uh, they've had on The Walking Dead. So, uh, my opinion on this show, I am absolutely freaking stoked for the show. Will I be reviewing it? You damn well know I'll be reviewing it. Um, guarantee going to check it out and review it, and actually it'll work out nicely, because I think The Walking Dead starts uh, early October, so depending on how many episodes they go to until their break, their break should be starting right around that time. So maybe they plan it out. The Walking Dead and a lot of your, your September shows are going to end at the beginning of December or within the first couple weeks of December. And then LA, not LA Noir, Mob City, because change the name, Mob City will be starting December 4th and going through the winter time. Give me something to review week by week in the winter time. And um, yeah, I mean, that's about all I can speculate on right now. There's, there isn't too much shown in the trailer that we know of so far, but um, I'm telling you. The visuals, how dark it is, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stellar. I know it already, and we've just seen the first thing, but I know it already right now. I'm telling you, I'm saying, anybody who liked The Walking Dead, who liked, uh, you know, Shane, John Bernthal, Frank Darabont's direction for the first season and a half of the series, liked that style better than, than the new style, I think you got to check this show out, man. Gotta check it out December 4th. Expect more videos and more speculation to come. As soon as I hear any news about it, I will do videos on it, letting you guys know. Uh, whew, let's talk about it. Mob City, blown away. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.